So yeah, anyway, uh, it was, I was walking over that get-and-go down the street, the one on 42nd, mm -hmm. which actually like four weeks ago was robbed at gunpoint. No way. No one was hurt, but it was pretty crazy. Like, I just heard about it on the news, I didn't even actually know. But uh, this is like four days after that. I was walking down the street like 9 o'clock at night, pretty dark. And some guy approaches me, and he's like, hey, uh, did you see that from that get-and-go? What's, what's it like there? How many people are there? And I, I, for some reason, I didn't really put two and two together at the time, that why he was asking me that, just like, there's just like nobody in there, just a click. And uh, as he's walking away, I, I turn around, and I, I got this like immense just chill and this, this overwhelming feeling of dread. And uh, you th there's no way. You think it was? I think it was the corn guy. Terrifying. I'm almost positive it was a corn guy. Did they get robbed again? Yeah, they got robbed again. Damn. So now Get and Go has to pay for rape counseling for the manager? Or whoever whoever was the, on duty? The, 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 uh, the clerk never turned up. He's still missing. No. Dude, honestly, I don't know why everybody in Iowa doesn't own a gun. That seriously scares me so much. Uh-huh. There are probably 30 guns in my house, and I still wouldn't feel comfortable in Iowa. Um, before I even knew you, we came up to Iowa to, uh, we came up to Iowa just to visit my grandma. It was either Thanksgiving or Christmas. We were leaving Hickory Park late after they closed because my dad is good friends with the guy who owns the place. Yeah. And so we were, like, in a back office just talking to him, catching up. And he says, all right, later, guys, and we're leaving. And in the dark parking lot... Some, a guy approaches us, we think it's a panhandle or something. Right, of course. But he pulls down my grandma's little skirt thing and starts just brutally fucking butt-fucking my grandma in the middle of the parking lot. Really? Butt-fucking her like there's no tomorrow. Right. He, she was actually starting to... He was using mind trickery to make her think she liked it. Right. And so my That's dad... That's what they do. Even though, even though it's actually not legal because he has a Texas license, my dad fucking pulls a 9mm out of his thing and fucking blasts the guy in the head. Right. And the guy turns at him and says, don't. And starts just walking away slowly. And I guess something got the better of my dad and he decided not to keep shooting and we just fucking piled in a car. That's a good thing. And, oh my gosh, Shiny Firo! Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Look at that hat. Nice, dude. I did not know what to expect because honestly, I didn't even know what Shiny Firo looked like. That looks incredible, actually. <laughs> right next to a normal one. Oh my god, that's so cool. Hey guys, Mr. Let's Play It. Still at my, uh, my friend Nick's house. Hello! Shiny Firo, no cheats. A couple. No cheats. We use super cool cheats so that. No, we didn't. We didn't cheat. Stop. We the, use the super cool cheats. He's the right. shiny's legit, but there's we use super cool cheats. Yeah, so now the shiny's gonna be a little bit cooler. I'm just gonna throw balls. It just has a uh, has sunglasses. Dude, nice high five. Oh shit. Safari shiny number two. Oh, I'm not in the safari zone anymore. Oh, man, I forgot. Oh, that got me for a second. I thought it was going to flee. Sounds good. Toot toot channel. Because you got two toot toot. that's it. All right. What's your guess on this Pokemon's I'll, nature? I'll guess materialistic. I'll guess calm. There's a uh, Ponita. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, that was funny. All right, that was a good one, Pokemons. Summary screen. Gentle! Oh my god, it's...